Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 14. And in this tutorial, we are gonna be taking a look at making our header for our website responsive. Uh, so right now the desktop version looks pretty similar or pretty much exactly the same as our design. Uh, I think the only difference here is that our font weight is not really where we want it to be. Uh, but I think we can always fix this at a later stage. Uh, what I'd like to do now though, is convert this header uh, or this nav bar to work on mobile. Because right now, if I right click on our website and I inspect elements in Google Chrome, uh, if you take a look in the top corner over here in Google Chrome, you can toggle your device to be a uh, mobile phone. And in this case, you can choose a kind of device that you'd like to use. Uh, and in this case, uh, iPhone 6 is already set up for us. Uh, and I'm gonna just set that to 100%. Uh, but right now, um, our, there, are, there are two problems, right? So one of the problems is that our device hasn't really scaled to fit the screen size. So uh, essentially what I've done here is I've, I've left out a bit of code, a very, very important bit of code that we need to add into our website template. So if we go over to our header tag, um, I need to paste in this little bit of code, right? So this is a meta tag that uh, essentially just checks what the viewport size is and then sets the content size to the same size as the viewport. It's very, very important. It makes our website responsive. Now, while we're here, there's also another little bit of code that I've left out, which is another meta tag. So let's go meta. Um, char set is equal to UTF-8. That makes our website Unicode. So these are two very, very important bits of code. We should not have built our website without them, but now they're there. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is just close off this header because I think everything is now fixed there. And if I jump back over to Google Chrome uh, and I hit the refresh button, ta-da! Our website has now kind of scaled to fit our phone. So everything still looks sort of okay. Uh, but we've got a few problems and the fact that this uh, navigation needs to be responsive and it isn't. Um, so let's work on fixing that. And the way we do that is if you go over to UIKit's website, go to the nav bar section and scroll down a little bit until you get to responsive visibility. So this is very important. There are certain things that you can hide and show using the UK hidden class and the UK visible class. So UK hidden small and UK visible small will allow you to uh, hide things that should be hidden on a small screen, on a phone screen, and then show things that should be visible on a phone screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this class, UK hidden small, and I'm gonna paste that in a few places. The first place I wanna paste that is our logo because I don't want our I don't want this logo to be visible on a small screen. I also don't want this menu. So um, I don't want this logo visible. I don't want this menu visible and I don't want this menu visible on small screen. So we're gonna go ahead and hide all of them actually. So uh, this nav, we can hide that. And this div or this UK nav bar flip, we can hide that. So all of those are gonna be hidden. Now what I'd like to do is uncomment this thing that says it'll be useful for mobile later. Um, and yeah, we're going to use these for our mobile screen. Uh, so what I'd like to do is take that exact same class, UK hidden small, and we wanna change that to UK visible small for this one. And we wanna change it to UK visible small for this one as well. And I think what I'd like to do is actually take this link and paste it before uh, the content, right? So if we save this and we jump back over to Google Chrome, let's take a look at what I've done here. Uh, so what I've done is uh, essentially hide everything that we didn't want. Uh, and then I've put in our little three bar thing, uh, our hamburger menu, which is this link here. And then I've also got a div that is ready to hold a logo for our centered logo, which kind of looks exactly like our mobile design over here. So we have the little hamburger menu thing and then we have our centered logo. So in order to add that logo there, uh, what I'd like to do is jump back over to 
our text editor. And we already have the logo set up as a link. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy that logo with, with all of the SVG code inside of it. Let's copy that and paste that in here. So I think I'm just gonna indent all of this and space it out correctly. Uh, but yeah, now we have a logo. The only problem is, okay, let's just indent that one as well, is that we need to get rid of this UK hidden small class because if you save it like this, uh, you're gonna have a little bit of a problem and we need to get rid of this UK navbar brand class. So let's get rid of both of those, save this and what's up? Okay, so let's take a look at this in our browser right now. And you can see that we now have our centered logo. By the way, if this logo is not in the center, it's probably because you didn't remove the classes that were originally here. Uh, or if it's not showing up, you might have UK hidden small still on that class. So just make sure to, uh, yeah, remove all of those. And uh, yeah, now our navigation is kind of halfway there. Uh, we just got a few more problems. And one of those problems is that when we click on this button, nothing happens because we kind of need our off canvas to slide in. So uh, if we look at the example set up here, I think we're gonna have to do the exact same thing. Um, just uh, turn the this mobile this design into a mobile design. Um, Where's responsive visibility? There we go, right. So what we need to do here uh, is get that same kind of functionality working. Um, and the way we do that is uh, by adding in, or yeah, by adding in an off canvas section and then just getting that link correct with that ID. And we've got to make sure that we're using the off canvas class here and also the off canvas. Well, yeah, basically we need to have this little ID set up, right? So uh, what we need to do here is grab this, this whole off canvas section. Let's copy that uh, and let's paste that in underneath our navigation. Uh, so it has to be outside the main nav tag. Don't forget to put it outside the nav tag. If you put it inside the nav tag, this might not work. There's also some really important stuff that goes that needs to go here. So we cannot leave this as three simple dots. We actually need to get the information from here. Uh, but under the ID, let's change this to something that makes a little bit more sense. So let's say off uh, canvas dash menu or off canvas dash nav. Uh, and then let's take this exact ID, copy that, and for our little tov toggle, navbar toggle, uh, let's add that ID in here. Make sure that you also put in a hash. If you don't put in the hash, this isn't gonna work, right? Because this is referencing the ID for this element, All right? Now let's see if we can find the code that needs to go in this uh, div tag. So, um, if we go over to, see it says we're making use of the off canvas component. So let's click on that link um, and take a look at what's going on in the off canvas section. Uh, we need to get this div, right? Uh, and the reason why is because it's got this class UK canvas bar. That's something important that we're gonna need. Uh, and we're also going to need um, that attribute which we're gonna add to our button later on. So let's first of all paste in our div, our off canvas div bar. Let's paste that in here. And now let's go back to the browser, get that attribute that I said we're gonna need. And we need to take that attribute and put that attribute in on the nav bar toggle button. So let's add that in over there, right? And now, if we come back over to our browser, refresh, and then click the button, uh, you should now have an off canvas navigation that opens up as you click on the item. And now all you really need to do is go back over to your text editor, take the menu that you've got already set up and copy that over to the off canvas section so let's just space that out a little bit and just remove that UK hidden small class because we're gonna need that. Um, 
And it seems like we've got our, our list in there twice. So that's something I need to fix. And let's just pull that back. I guess I need to fix that here too. Same problem. You got the list in there twice. I did not notice that first time around, but let's uh, pull that back. And if we jump back over to our browser and hit refresh, uh, now, as we click on this, we actually have our menu sitting in there. But a little bit of a problem, the menu item is displaying as if it were uh, a full on menu. So let's see if we can find the code for an off canvas menu. Right, so under the uh, off canvas uh, section of our page, if we scroll down to off canvas navs, uh, you can see that the navigation classes we're supposed to be using are uk-nav and uk-nav-off-canvas. So those are the ones we want. We probably also want that attribute, by the way. So let's just copy all of those and then jump back over to our text editor and replace those because right now we've got uk nav bar nav as a class. That's not something we want for our off-canvas nav. Uh, and let me just add the word class back in there. Uh, Right, so that looks good to me. Let's save this now and jump back over to our browser, back to build a website. Uh, so right now it's got the UK navbar nav. We don't want that, but if we refresh and we hit the button, ta-da! We now have a navigation that works well on a mobile as well. So. That is all I have for you guys in this video. But before I end the video off, I wanna send a huge shout out to my current patrons. So these guys help me by funding my videos. If you guys like the videos I create and you wanna help me make more of these videos, becoming a patron is the best way to help me fund my videos and help me make more videos. Um, and uh, of course, if you cannot help me financially, then just don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like and share this video because all of that stuff is going to help my channel grow and I'll see you guys in the next one.